Hello, I am Fjallsback and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. We are in a new part of town, of Baldur's Gate itself, so let's have a look at what we can find here. There's a door, let's just go better. straight out that one instead. And it turns out to be locked, alright. This door here. Locked as well. <clears throat> Commoners actually. Do we get a new district this way? We do. Alright. That's not where we're going to go right now. I'll do my best. Also locked. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to this house. Does not look like to be the case. Okay, from the side, there's another wall type thing going on here. This leads back to where we came, basically. I'll do my best. All right. <clears throat> Barrel we could look into. And it is indeed empty. <clears throat> Barrels. Hey, money. All right. Seems like a lot of trees for being a middle of the city. Do they have a park type of thing structure here? I guess they do. What does this look like? Sort of, don't know, bridge. Uh, this looks strange to me. Anyway, we can walk across it at least. Ah, uh, some sort of gate or something up to something, someplace. <coughs> Courtyard or something, it looks like maybe. Right, we've got the next district here available also. Probably makes sense as we walk up this thing to what it is. <coughs> yeah, probably some sort of courtyard thing uh, heading up here. Yeah, seems to be the case. Let's follow the wall here first. does indeed to seem to be the case. Yeah, it does. <coughs> There's a portcullis and all. Hello. Damn those onions. Worth Salutations. I recognize you. Your those adventures have been cleaning up all the bandits, ain't ya? The leader of your bunch is named Conrad. Why are you up here at the gate? You restocking or are you coming to cause cause there's evil to fight in town? We're just here to stock up of an equi adventure equipment. Would you know a good place we can could uh, uh, do that? Evil here in Baldur's Gate. Why would you think that? I've heard some weird stuff about the merchants' consortiums in town. Both the Seven Sons and the Merchants' League have acting real strange of late. There is that new Iron Throne that just moved in. They look, they look over that huge abandoned tower in the west side of town. Well, that's all I really know. It was nice to meeting some real adventurers. Bye now. All right. <coughs> Through this courtyard, we can. All right, all right. Commoners don't really want to bother by speaking to all of them. <laughs> 
Hammer, counter, and nobleman case of some sort. That is empty. or something like that? Probably. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for the time being. Okay, doors here. They're locked. They're locked. Seems to be the end of this particular area. Can we get around here? We can actually. Alright, now we get out of here and then it reveals this new map, part of the map here. Yeah, excellent. Excellent day. It says something here. It says Oberon's estate. Ah, I see. If none are better. Was that where we had a quest? <coughs> Team skilled. Sneak into Oberon's estate and steal several magical components from the three daughters. Alright. So we I guess have to go in here at some point. But let's no wait because the doors are technically locked at this instant. <coughs> yeah, I'll probably get lost or something. Excuse me, please let me speak before you attack. Please, I'm Lothanther, partner of that assassin Marek. I do not wish to harm you. Okay. We'll give you a chance, make it quick. My partner Marek has poisoned all of you while you slept. He slipped a slow acting magical poison into your rations. I have you have ten days to live. Common priest spells won't help you. One thing can, and that is the antidote. I can help you find it if you help me first. Okay. Why don't we just kill you and take the antidote ourselves? Okay, what is wanting to do? Or don't try to lie to us, scum. Don't try to lie to us. Your mistake and most probably your last. Okay. Oh, my life is in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll give it a chance, make it quick, and again, okay, what do you want us to do? The problem is this, I don't work for the Iron Throne because I wish to, but rather because I have been forced. I have been expelled with a Gaius. If I do not obey everything, obey everything that Merrick orders me, the spell will take effect and I shall wa waste away. I need a way to rid myself of the, spe of the spell. I know of a diviner that uh, at the market square who may have the answers I seek, but I don't have the money to pay for him. Will you help me? <coughs> All right, you take us to this, this, this diviner. I don't know where this is going to go, but okay. Step in here to the diviner's tent. It's here? Ah, okay. I can, but try. Then what? Knowledge used wisely is the most powerful of tools. You wish to hear the arcane knowledge of Haspor. It will cost you 50 gold for the answers to your questions. No matter how small, will you pay or will you leave? There's uh, the money, I guess. And for real, now what is it I wish to know? You must tell you. Tell me I only have the strength to answer a single question a day. So be careful who you ask. Who has the ability to release Lothander of his gaze? I guess that's the one we want to go for. Only the High Priestess Jalantha Mistmur of Umberly has the power to remove Lothair's gate. She can be found at the Water Queen's house. It is difficult to see whether or not she will help you. 
I cannot answer any more questions. You must leave now. I see. I see. No, oh, my life is in shambles. <coughs> You should go to the Water Queen's house, also known as the Temple of Umberley. It be at the Blade and Stars Inn. Meet me there when you find a way to the Voice the Gaze. Oh, no, I'll be at the Blade and Stars Inn. All right. Apparently, we've been poisoned. If none are better. Books. History of Halria and History of the North. Can we get under the, under the other tents? Hey, stuff. No stuff. That's not seem like it. Okay, taverns and such. Guess we're heading this way. <coughs> A lot of people standing outside here. Okay, let's try this door. It's actually open. There's a question mark around here somewhere. This place here. A tavern. There we go. If none are better. Commoners and barkeep. You want some whiskey? Drink, you're just food and rest, alright. Well, drink and rest, really. All right, heading back out. I'll do my best. Is this the same place? Oh, well, there's a back door here. Yeah. I can, but try. Yeah, all right. Now it seems locked. And then this would probably be locked as well. It is. Why are you in a white circle around you? Mother said not to talk with strangers. Can I have a lollipop? Sure, I guess. Ring. Out behind this way at least. Poultry store, and there's actually a scroll in this barrel. And this is a thing in which you the sewers as well, it looks like. Lady uh, something. Lady Hannah. There be there ought to be a law to keep lecherous old men like rage fast off the street. Oh, uh, well, come down, lecherous. What's like who? Or why do I get the sense? I really don't want to get into this. Go on number one here. Rage fast. Oh, he makes me see it. He's a mage. Uh, on a power trip, and what does he do? He acquires his own personal nymph and enslaves her in her quarters. Men's are callous brutes, and personally, I wish the world would, were, would be rid of him. If the world would be rid of men, how would we survive as a species? Why is that a horror? We s Why, that's a horror. I'll seek him out and look into this matter immediately. Let's do that, I guess. Oh God, this world still has some honor left. His house is in the northwest part of town. I wish you would luck with all the passion of my fury in your task. I see. All right. What's this place? It actually doesn't have anything. Otherwise, it is rabbit chickens. Wolf. Done had enough of this. AI taking over. Eat, yep, AI is taking over here. 
One experience points per chicken for some reason. Alright. What was this? Someone gonna be mad about us killing all the chickens or something? I have sense that's probably a thing we wouldn't want to to happen. Uh, none are better. Of course I might be obviously completely nothing wrong. This just seems off. Circle chickens. <laughs> right. And that was basically what put us in here. I can but try. Poultry store, okay. Okay. Um that was apparently a thing. The door and there is our exit of the map. Another place, alright. I can't particular but door try. here is locked. There's a way in here, okay. Some sort of garden of some sort, yeah. Mm, perhaps right. this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. Right, so we've done the entire map here, yeah, we have. <coughs> well, except for maybe these bits here, but we can't really get to them, um, so, and there's not going to be anything there other than walls, so that's all fine. Right, I guess we're heading off somewhere else. Um, I th think I'll leave the sewers be for now. Just trying to get a lay of the uh, s place here. You're a long tongued lout, ain't you? All right. All right. Let's say go north here. If none are better. Mm -hmm. It's locked. There's a guy coming to speak to us. Rudum. Hi there, pal. If you're trying to get inside the palace, you are the luck. Common folk aren't allowed in there. Grand Dukes don't let no one in unless there's some sort of s special event going on. Alright. Good to know. Thank you for your information and all that. Gonna try the door anyway. Oh, we actually can get in here. Really? I'll do my best. I much prefer wooded regions, but one must be flexible in these times. I've been working on a ballad about the unicorn run in the high forest. If you, uh, if uh, I'd like to use a more reliable source than simply hearsay and folklore, though, if you ever find an author. Authoritative history of the run and your travels. Love to get my hands on it. Okay, so I need a book of some sort. Alright. Alright. I'll do my best. People sleeping. Right, let's not disturb more, I guess. I can but back out. try. My best. This way here, and guess it's gonna be fine, just as good as any other way, really. Ducal Palace, alright. Mm, perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. Get any further that way. 
Right, let's head to here then. See if they will let us into the gate. Probably won't. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. They are forth. gathered, right? Yep, so we are not allowed in there. It looks like. It's starting to rain. Another door. It's open. And what's your name? I can, but try. Sharon or something? Yes. Behren. Damnable cat, I can't... F uh, I figure Pertrine would take the blast... The beast with her, but life isn't kind and whatnot. Okay. A loitering cat was annoying him, and he's mentioned some... Thing. Okay, so I don't know if I want to take the cat, or... Or what? If it's missing. I can the cat. try. Sleeping elf. So what am I to do with this cat? Um, if I can get a button here that says remove all the finish from the list. Bard's request, that's one. Rini, a bard and a balladeer here in Baldur's Gate has asked me to bring her of history. Okay, this is not the run. Thieves skills, anchor calling. Basilisk of the Loose. The Seer. Petrine's cat. I visited Bethlehem of Baldur's Gate in his house. Today a loitering cat was annoying him and he mentioned someone named Petrine. Okay, so we have to find protein, protein basically. Can't grab the cat. Does not seem so. You have need of me. Oh, well. uh, stairs. I'll and do get my out best. Of if none are better. Uh, sewers again. So you can go through different districts from the sewers. Wouldn't surprise me if you could. I'll do my best. All right. Something on your mind. Who are you? Tick. Hey, you look, look like the sewer running types. If I ever saw any. What do you mean? Sewer running kiddo talking crawl through the urban man's dungeon. All right. Uh, all right. Who are calling kiddo? I didn't. I call no one kiddo man. It's just the way I talk. I mean, you guys are so cool. I swish, you swish, and then you walk, man. Oh no, I did I call you. Oh no, forget it. I didn't mean any harm, no. Oh hell, gonna get me some of those dictionaries to learn me some common man. Okay, so apparently not a quest of any sort. Well, unless I should have answered some other things, I guess. Okay. Abandoned house. Yo! I found you! You thieving little Greg Doc! Thought you could get away, eh? Well, Mecklen isn't one to be taken so easily! Hand over me money, Neela! Who you be, Halfling? I've no beef with you! I want what I'm owed from that treacherous, pointy haired thief! <laughs> right. Kaliki, what, what did I do? Not you! Get out of the way! What you told me, speaking to me, Halfling, I have no half mind to insert a quarter staff into your nether regions. Stuff it, woman! I'm talking about the other pointy haired <laughs> one! <laughs> okay. Oh dear! Mecklen! So good to see you. I see you weren't hindered by any of my misdirection spells that were cast purely as a practical joke. Right, Nira, what have you done? Spells? 
Ye slipped a pot on me head and banged it until I was knocked out, ye deaf woman! Enough talk! I want the money you stole, or I'll take it out of your soft elven hide! Half elven? Then I have no idea what money you're talking about. Well, I may have taken a few coins for the road, but I hardly think that's worth chasing after me. It was over 200 pieces of gold! You knocked me out and fled into the night, telling me some fairy tales about fleeing ordinary wizards to get me to lure my guard! What have you told this character? A dragon ate your pups? Yeah. Give me my gold, or this <laughs> dagger is going into your ribs! <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I like this guy. Mecklin, this is getting out of hand. I didn't want to take your money, but I was in dire straits. If you didn't look so peaceful in your sleep, I would have woken you up to come with me. He took his money and left in the night? I was going to pay him back. Eventually, at some point, in the future, if I could find him. Alright. You had no intention of paying the money back, did you? Or I think you owe this gentleman some money, Nira. I think you owe this gentleman some money. Come now, it was just a little gold. What's money between friends? Jumps? Acquaintances? Yes, well, if I had the money, I would pay him. But clearly I don't. Look at my clothes! Ragged, filthy, peasant-esque. I spent that money on essentials, and essentials aren't cheap. The money is gone. All right, Nira, when we met, you were carrying several gemstones of high value. That's true, Mecklen. Look at the filthy wrist massage and tell me she has a coin upon her. Uh, Nira, when you had several gemstones, I guess. Listen, if you're going to be like that, then just string me up right now. Gods, you really don't know how to play along, do you? All right. I guess you need to pay here. Then we're at an impasse. I have no money to give you, Mecklin. And clearly I don't wish to be scalped. What are we going to do, Mecklin? Wait, what if I were to pay near his death? I have oodles of money right now, so I guess that's what's going, going to happen. I don't care who gives me the money. I just want it back. Oh, 200 gold. Pay up, or she'll be on her way to that place. Wherever it is that blasted elves go when they've been eviscerated! <laughs> I like his style, hmm. though. It's been a pleasure to see you again, Nira. I'll take my leave of you now. And if I catch you sniffing around me ever again, I'll cut out your wee black heart! I am very, 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 very sorry about what just happened. I didn't want to steal from Mecklin, I just had no other choice. I wish things had turned out differently. All right. Uh, the important thing to learn from mistakes. I guess. I'm glad you see it my way. Now, if we run into a stocky dwarf by the name of Orthan with a burn on his forehead, just pretend I'm a deaf mute and you found me in a ditch. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, great times. Restitution. Right, and on that high note, I think I will end this episode and take a break here. Thank you very much for watching.